Welcome inside the Citrus TV studios for a special Citrus TV sports report. Alongside Emily Wood and Jackson Agello, I'm Christian Guzman. Earlier today, it was announced that Tyler Lydon will enter his name into the 2017 NBA draft. Guys, when you first heard the news, what were your initial thoughts? You know, I didn't, wasn't surprised, but I did think that there was a chance that he would, would stay, so I was a little disappointed. I wasn't surprised that he left. I was surprised that he left and made the decision so quickly. I thought he would take into consideration some of the combine, talk to his family a little longer. I was surprised how quickly the decision came. Well, last year he was being considered for a lottery pick, but decided to stay over for this 2016-17 season. Let's take a look at how his stats compare from 2015 and 2016 to now here in 2016 and 2017. Points per game goes up a little bit by three as he becomes that main point scorer. Also more rebounds as well. Multiple double-doubles for Tyra Lyon across this season. A little bit of a dip in his, free, in his field goal percentage just both from um, three and from the floor and seeing that increased minutes per game as he became a starter. I think the big question on everyone's mind, first of all, and you guys have already kind of addressed it, should Tyler Lydon have left for the NBA or should he come back for his junior year? I think he should have stayed. I know the stats say that he improved a little bit in several categories. However, I just didn't see it watching him. Stats don't tell the whole story. I think that his presence inside needs to improve. I think he needs to be stronger, uh, be able to go up for more rebounds. I know he did lead the team in rebounds. However, it's just because of the lack of big men, not necessarily because of how well he played. And I believe that coming into this year, he was supposed to be the man for Syracuse, and he really, he just wasn't. He was overshadowed by Andrew White and John Gillen and some of the other players. Wasn't as impressive as we hoped after his amazing freshman year. Look, I thought he got better, for certain. I think he got better this season. The stats show that, and I think even if you just watch him, he was stronger, he got more rebounds, and defensively, he's been good both seasons. But I don't think he should have gone. I think he needed another year to develop. Now look, he can stay in the, I don't think he'll be in the NBA next season. I think he'll be in the D League, but he could follow the path of a player like Jeremy Grant, who went to the NBA draft, stayed in the D League for a while, and is now starting to flourish a little bit for the Thunder. He could follow that path, so it might not be the end game worst decision for him, but I think another year really could have benefited him at Syracuse. You never know. Well, we should preface that we're not sure if he has signed an agent or not, so he still technically could come back. Multiple reports saying that he did sign with an agent, but uh, Jim Beheim earlier today also saying that he wasn't sure if Thailand had, Leiden had or had not yet. But assuming that he is not going to be with the Orange next season, not a too much front court presence. You have Pascal Chukwu, Torian Thompson, Matthew Moyer. How does that front court now have to perform if Tyler Leiden is not with the Orange? Jackson, we'll start with you. Well, I think definitely Torian Thompson could take a big step forward defensively. That's going to be a big key, and Pascal Chukwu in the center needs to step up as well to be an anchor for this team down low. They're going to need to replace his defense because his defense is a really important part for the Syracuse team this year. They really needed him down low to be the anchor. Torian Thompson couldn't serve long minutes in the middle because he just wasn't good enough on the defensive end. Torian's a great offensive player. Offensively, I think they'll be fine next season. But defensively, can they replace that down low presence that Tyler Lydon was? Yeah, I completely agree with you. I think uh, Torian Thompson has improved greatly this season. I think he conti will continue to do so. And, you know, we got a few recruits. However, the team has struggled with big men getting rebounds, and losing Tyler Lydon is not going to help that. As much as they struggled, he really did help his height and his ability to get some rebounds at crucial times really did help the team. They will miss him. And, look, you can't fully answer the question yet because – you don't know who Syracuse might bring in. There's still a lot of time left. This time last season, Syracuse fans didn't know Torian Thompson was coming, Andrew White, or John Gillen. So there's a lot of time left, and the recruiting is always going on, as Jim Beheim said earlier today. And to your point also, Torian Thompson and Pascal Truco did get into foul trouble a lot on the defensive end, so maybe their fouls decrease. And also Leiden with that block shots that he always brings. Remember all that one against Gonzaga last year. Well, that will do it for this special Citrus TV Sports Report. Stay tuned to Twitter on, at Citrus TV Sports and to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Citrus TV for more updates on the Syracuse men's basketball team as it continues to end this season. For Emily Wood and Jackson and Jello, I'm Christian Guzman. We'll see you later.